All right, so here we are in Hogtown, PA again at Sid and Jan's place. This is where we installed the, uh, it originally installed the Axman 130 to heat the wood boiler that used to be out on what used to be the back porch of this outbuilding. The whole thing is about uh, 4,900 square feet of heating space and we uh, made a nice new control box for it with uh, some digital controllers. So let's go see what we got. Here's the outside of the outbuilding where the boiler is. This part is a coal bin, which is probably about nine ton-ish, I guess. And the boiler lives in here. So, so here's the boiler. Uh, last year, two years ago, we installed it in here and got it all running and everything with the standard controls, standard anthostat. Jan put a uh, relay and a separate auger motor on it so that the auger doesn't run all the time. Saves a little bit of wear on the auger and the mechanical parts that run it. Since the auger doesn't need to run unless it's ashing. And this is our control box. I wired all this up at home. It's got three ink birds that are going to control the boiler temperature ash temperature and the stack inhibit, which will save it from pushing coal if the fire goes out. And there's a couple other interesting aspects to it that we'll talk about in a little, little bit. Okay, here, here we are, mid wiring project. Turns out we had to take out a lot of the old wiring because it just, it was referenced to have everything mainly go into that box so now everything's being driven off of this box so things had to change around a bit a lot more than i thought but we're getting it done should have it done in another hour or so all right just about to take a break here we got the uh box mounted got everything coming up into it turn out we don't have many more uh wires left in that one they're all over in here now so <laughs> after lunch we'll come back and we'll finish wiring it up and fire it up because it's a little chilly in here what how, how cold is it in here now 41 in here yeah, 41 in here no 51 51, 51. there we go that's yeah, still chilly enough for a fire all right there now we're ready to check this thing out We've got the auger switch and the fan switch off. And we've got a test light bulb in the main power here. So when we turn it on, if something shorted, the light should come on. If everything's okay, the three controllers should light up. Hey, the controller's lighted up. Really? <laughs> That means you wired the first part right. Next thing to test is we'll check the fan. Fan light comes on. The switch on the fan motors and no, don't turn it off. Fan motors turned off right now and the auger motors turned off right now. But our circuit is on. The Indicator light is powered, and if you go look outside, your your fancy fan light should that, be on. Is that light on out there? Red. Red. Okay. We'll check the auger one now. Off. Oh. Uh, hang on a second. We're, we're inhibiting it. But we can just drop that temperature. And... Then, it's pretty cold right now, it's 41 degrees. <laughs> there we go. Okay, our indicator light works. Our ashing hours are working and obviously the solenoid works. 
Okay. So we'll shut it off again. Take the test blade bolt out. Screw the fuse back in. Carefully so we don't electrocute ourselves. <laughs> yeah, not this close to the end. Box up. Covers back on these boxes. Turn it on. You want to flip up fan switch on, see if uh, the fan starts up. Nope. Nope. Oh. Switch in. Oh, switch in. Here we go. Fan works. <laughs> the short. If the auger works. Nothing. Should the auger be running? You switch down here on? Yeah. What happens when you have fancy controls? I gotta figure out how it works. <laughs> the overlay's not even there. So it isn't. Oh, it is. Overlay. Down below. It's not it. It was earlier. It was earlier. Hmm. Still nothing. And the solenoid didn't kick you. Hmm. Temperature setting? No. Wow. Yeah. For some reason, the set point didn't stay when I changed it. <laughs> All right. Start the fan again. Sure. I lay out here, not it. Set down to 32, so. There we go. Okay. Okay. On. All the turn, all the turn in there. One right direction. One right direction. It says stop opening up that door. And then you run the meter. One last thing. This is the pump. There you go. Pump works too. Now guess what? I'm going to create a light or fire. All right, so it's been running for a while now. It's, it's a cold, rainy day, and this block chimney is pretty stone cold right now, so we're not getting any draft out of it. And the stack temperature is just going up really, really, really slow. It's just creeping along. But um, got a little boiler temperature. It's putting out a little over 90 degrees right now. Into all the house zones because everything's calling like 38 39 degrees and rain in here so it's uh not not very nice out <laughs> and inside here it's probably about 50 degrees but everything seems to work i'll well, probably get some more permanent uh, labels up there at some point but for this evening i think we're about done other than checking on it once it comes up the temperature i mean we do have to check that when the boiler temperature comes up meets the set point it shuts off and um like well we go we already checked that initially just not in the boiler so it'll uh it'll be interesting to do that 
I don't anticipate any problems because it all checked out when we were doing it with the cigarette later test. And we gotta make sure it doesn't it stops ashing when it hits 140 degrees. And uh, right now we're we kind of have the stack temperature inhibit defeated by having it sit at 32 degrees. Well, actually, we could bump that up now since the stack temperature is well above that. Could set it to like 150. There you go. 152. So what that means is if the stack temperature drops below 152 degrees, it'll stop ashing because these relays are connected in series to the solenoids. Alright, well, that's about it for now. Alright, well, it all worked out good. Came up the temperature, shut off, stopped ashing, started ashing just like it's supposed to, and it all works just like uh, we planned on it working. So, yeah, fun little project. Now we have heat for the winter. Woohoo!